So describe what sort of era we are biblically right now in terms of a second coming, in terms of, of a change. I believe we're, we're, no question, I believe we are in the, the latter days of this age. When I say latter days, could it be the last hundred years or the last thousand years or the last six months? I don't know. But the, the Bible, the, the things that the Bible predicts, uh, earthquakes and famines, uh, nation rising against nation, uh, we, we see this happening with more frequency and, and more intensity. But there's other things. Uh, when the Antichrist comes, uh, we talk about the number of the Antichrist, that he will have an economic mark that will be either on your forehead or on your right hand or your forehead. And that economic mark, you can't buy, sell, or trade unless you have that number. And you believe in that? I believe the Bible, Christian, from cover to cover. Absolutely, word for word, I believe the Bible. So what will the second coming look like? Well, the Bible says that uh, every eye is going to see it. And, you know, I thought, how's that going to happen? There's so many phones today. And just look at what's happening in Libya or Egypt, and everybody's got their phone up, and everybody's taking recordings and posting it on YouTube and whatever and sending it to you, or, and, and it gets shown around the world. I don't know, but he says that he'll be coming on the clouds, and, and the world is going to moan. They're going to groan. I don't mean to be disrespectful, yeah. but could there be a second coming by social media? Is oh, no. that what you mean? No, I'm just saying how the whole world will see him when he comes. And he's coming back for, for, his, uh, uh, for his people. How is the whole world going to see him all at one time? I don't know, unless all of a sudden everybody's taking pictures and it's, it's on the media worldwide. I don't know. Social media could have a big part in that.